It's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with another puzzle. This one is from Vajim again and thank you so much Vajim for sending this out to us. We are super excited. We had a great time with the first puzzle and this one looks even more daunting. Okay so this one is called Fruit Finder. It's a thousand pieces and made by Vajim as I told you and it has a large fruit in the middle. I actually had to spend some time on the internet on this because I am not well versed in all of the world's fruits, but this is a sweet granadilla. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that appropriately or not, but it's something sort of like a pomegranate, so that's kind of cool. There's also some different blackberries in here and then a bunch of different animals. Similar to the other puzzle that we had, there's a hummingbird, a parrot, a frog, a peacock, some prairie dogs, a chameleon, another parrot. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of other stuff hidden in here too, and as we're building the puzzle, we will probably discover more, just like in the last one. So I'm really excited about it. But guys, look how much greenery there is and how much of this stuff. This is going to be a super challenging puzzle. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. Let's get it open. Okay. Oh, guys. Okay, good. This is just like the last one. So here's what the pieces look like. And you can see on the back of some of these pieces, we've got letters and they'll have a's b's c's wherever it goes in the puzzle now i did not use that as a cheat to put together the last puzzle and we are going to tough it out and do the whole challenge for this time too so we are not going to use that but i'm going to dump the pieces out in here so that you can see them better so here we have a d and an f puzzle piece just a for example. So I guess I could give you kind of an idea of what quadrant the puzzle is in. Now there isn't a key in here that shows you exactly where each letter is, but I guess you get a little bit better of an idea. And it's nice to know there's some help if you need it. But I think we can do this. We've got the whole family. It is the holidays and we've all been quarantined here. So we are going to sort these out just like last time. We're going to sort out between ends and middle pieces and we'll give you a fast forwarded version through the sorting and then the entire puzzle. Once we sort out the ends from the middles, we'll put one in each of these boxes, then we'll dump out all of our ends. And of course we'll have four corners and all the edge pieces. So we'll put together the edge and then we'll be solid for which direction we're building and where certain things are going to go in. And then the real challenge begins, right? So I'm super excited and I can't wait to build this with you guys. So here we go on the time lapse.
All right, so once again, guys, this was the Fruit Finder puzzle by the Jean. It was 1,000 pieces, and it was a pretty fun build. We had five of us that were working on and off, sometimes in groups, to put this together, and it was a pretty good time. I did show another Vagine puzzle on this channel that is multiple animals, and I'll put that down in the description below. That one was a little bit easier than this one, but they were both still a good level of difficulty. Not so hard that you can't assemble it or need to use the back of the pieces. We had a good time. I will say there were a couple of unexpected challenges. For example, the photo on the box wraps around the sides, which you actually do see these tips of the wings and the side pieces of this. So that made it a little bit more difficult, I think, for us to assemble. And I didn't like that too much. Also, the images weren't super crisp and clear. You can see even on the box, the lines between different creatures and fruits are not super crisp. And the same thing on the actual puzzle pieces. But it's not a huge deal. I still had a really good time doing it and would definitely recommend the puzzle. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And of course, go check out my channel for plenty more fun toy and game reviews. And until next time, have fun playing. Bye.